In this automation, we're going to see how to retrieve basic text from a web page. We're going to continue from the automation, the very, very basic automation that we created before that logs into LinkedIn. So I'm just going to walk through it very quickly. Uh, we collect the information via our login form. We wait for the web page to create. We fill in the input fields. After that, we enable the login button. We log into LinkedIn. After that, we create, we wait for the login page to create and we, and after that, we fill in the search field with the input field. So now we're going to retrieve the number of friends that we, the selector that we mm, connected here. So we want to retrieve the number one. I'm going to name this so it's not misleading and I'm going to name it number of friends so how are we going to do this there's different ways that we can retrieve data from the web page the most simple one is to select the text property however i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you that if you click on this button you're going to have uh, access to the full list of properties methods that you can add to your automation for example in this case also maybe inner text would work or name but we're just gonna go with text for now so we're gonna drag in the text so after our automation has filled in the search it's gonna go grab the data and it will display it in the input field that we created before so we're going to drop it into our automation, connect the logical flow with the yellow lines and connect the data flow with the blue lines. So you see only where I need to pass data, I connect the blue lines. So let's see if this actually works. However, since LinkedIn logs in automatically, I'm going to skip the first part of, our, of my automation and I'm going to start right here from this wait for create. This wait for create I think it's going to be fine since we're just trying to test if our if retrieving the number of friends works. However, I could also maybe connect. No, let's just do that. Okay, let's start and test our automation. As you can see, the automation is getting a little bit messy with all these lines and all these boxes that we, we are creating. We're going to soon see how we're going to simplify this and make it a little bit tidier and simpler and modular to work with. So LinkedIn, we're waiting for LinkedIn to open. We don't need to do this. We should just push the login button and retrieve the number of friends that we have. So number one should be written here. So let's push the login. Oh no, it was written here. Okay, so apparently it works. Now let's close our automation. And in the next video, we're going to see how to tidy up a little bit our process since it's getting messy. We're going to do this by creating a procedure.